Speaking of those points, here they are. Andrew Hines is just seven back from Hector. So if he can win this race, then he goes into the points lead. And there's still that little fight underway. Jimmy Underdahl is the guy with a chance to take Craig Treble off the 10th spot. And Underdahl has the same thing that Angie had. He has to win the race and set the record. Can he do it? Well, here's the first step as he faces Mike Berry. Well, the first thing he's got to do is get, at least get a backup if he wins it. And he's got to run quicker than a 691.4 for that backup and then set the national record in the final round. That's going to be tough. Going to get the win, though. Underdog, we look for the numbers. Yeah. It's a 70387 miles an hour as he goes into his first final ever. Well, he isn't going to make the countdown, but he's got a shot at getting that first Wally. So that, and if he does that, he would definitely be happy. And so now the countdown is over to this point. We start the countdown to one at the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals. And Craig Treble holds on to hen his 10th spot in the Pro Stock Motorcycle class. Andrew Hines will have the lane choice when they come back for the final as he faces Jimmy Underdahl. I'll tell you what, that's nice to see Jimmy up there, though, isn't it? You got any water down there? Let's go to Gary Gerald, top end. Pulling the gloves off, the helmet will follow. Jimmy Underdahl going to a final and an opportunity now awaiting for a first Wally. What does that feel oh, like? Man, this is awesome. I got my whole family here. It's my home track. Man, this Suzuki Extended Protection Bike is hauling butt. Uh, got to thank my dad, all my brother-in-laws. Man, this is awesome. And your dad, Greg, I understand, had three opportunities, got to the finals, never was able to get the win. You could get the first yeah. one for the family here. Hopefully I can get it for him. Thanks. It would be neat to see 